Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O. And you can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up before you leave today. Okay, I'm back with another haul. I'm wearing the same sweater that I did in my last one. My last video I was naughty. This one I'm going for nice. And I'm filming these back to back so I'm out of breath because I really didn't take, I didn't take a pause or take a beat or grab a glass of water. Though I'm staring at my water bottle right now. So, you know, I don't edit. Let's just enjoy. You should drink some water too. This is actually a reminder to drink a little bit of water today. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> so let's get into the haul. I went to the outlet. I'm like, well, today is Wednesday that I'm filming this. I think I went yesterday, which was Tuesday. And again, I was only there for one rotation. So it was less than an hour. And I usually go at around closing time. I don't know if it's better earlier in the day. The longer you stay there, the more rotations you're there for, the better luck you're gonna have. But actually I was delightfully surprised with all the stuff that I got yesterday in the short span of time that I'm there. It feels like uh, that game show supermarket sweep when I'm there. Anyways. I did get some modern and some vintage. I'm going to start with the modern first and then we'll look at all the vintage stuff together. Okay, so the first item, it's actually inside out, but I don't think it really matters because it kind of looks the same both ways. This is a size medium dress from Zara. I'm not sure if there was supposed to be a liner with this. Doesn't matter anyways because I think it's a really cool piece and I think somebody will buy it, but it's just like you put it on over, I don't know, a bikini, a slip, something. I love the yellow. It's really fun. So anyways, it's inside out, but you get what it, you get what it looks like, right guys? Okay, <clears throat> give me a bag. I don't wanna put this in my lap. It's gonna make noise the whole time. I'm gonna put it on the ground <laughs> and I'm gonna hope that it doesn't hit my camera every time I grab stuff out of it. Okay, next item was, is these Lululemon, leggings there's the little uh, logo there these are a size two which you can find the size dot inside pockets sometimes they'll be maybe on the inside of a hem of a lululemon item these are actually in really good condition there's a little bit of like slight tiny pilling in the crotch nothing that like a sweater shaver couldn't fix so and these are actually really pretty emerald green color don't ask me what style they are i have no idea i never know the style of Lululemon items. This, I, I waffled. Oh gosh, there's a pun here. I waffled on whether I should buy this waffle knit chaser <laughs> long sleeve shirt. Um, just because I know that chaser was sold at Costco like a season or two ago. But I, again, I just really liked the color of this. So I went ahead and bought it. Okay, next item I have is a Madewell dress. It's kind of like a purpley blue. It's hard to even, I couldn't pick one or the other. Like if you made me pick, I'd still say it's purpley blue. This is a size small. I just thought it was real cute when someday people have to go back to working in their office. That'll be a nice piece. Okay, these are a pair of cabby leggings and they have this faux leather panel on the front. I just thought they were real nice. Everybody's wearing their size medium stretch and cozy pants this year which the back paneling just looks like you know stretch pants that i was like you know what maybe somebody just wants these like stretch faux leatherish leggings to wear i don't know i could have probably checked the style number to see if it's like a popular cabbie item i'm guessing it's probably not but yeah <clears throat> okay next i was actually surprised i've never found this brand in washington um it's Pam and I don't know if it's Gella or Jella. Da, 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 da. I first saw this brand when I went thrifting in LA. It's a size small. From what I remember, the um, people who created Juicy Couture created this brand. So, and it's got the sequins in the front here. You can see I'm kind of shaking it for shimmery effect. It looks like it's got some fuzzy white stuff on it. And honestly, it's just the dryer sheet got stuck on it and I had to pull it off and then it left the remnants of that. But anyways, yeah, that's a real cute piece. So there's that. 
this I was shocked <laughs> again to find in my bins. It is, oh gosh, there's a hair here. Oh, it just went in my mouth. Okay. An Ace and Jig, great brand if you ever find it out when you're out thrifting. Ace and Jig skirt. This is size medium. Um, this style specifically isn't going to get me like top dollar in general. This is, you know, a can be a good brand, like a decent one. Dresses can go for like over $100 resale. Um, this skirt, maybe more around like 40 I think that they did maybe do some exclusive pieces for like Anthropology slash Urban Outfitters is owned by the same company. Um, and I feel like this was a piece that they made for them. Um, so it doesn't retail for as much. Plus sometimes skirts don't retail for as much or resale, excuse me. This is a stringy Everlane crew neck sweatshirt. It's kind of like this peachy color and it's a little bit pilly. I don't know if that's like originally how it was. It's a size medium but yeah that's another thing like I don't usually find Everlane or Ace and Jig or <laughs> any of this stuff at my bin so it, it felt like a treat okay I did find some new tags items which if you saw my last video I can't say no to new tag stuff I'm sorry I just can't so um I found it still has a actually a goodwill tag on it too but this is just like a Jennifer Lopez for Kohl's tank it's gold it's got this gold shimmery front to it actually I think the back is gold shimmery too with like a a ribbed knit or whatever you want to call that so yeah couldn't say no to that uh these are a pair of Eddie Bauer pants they're a size eight cropped kind of salmon color pant again they're new with tags you know um this is a forever 21 blouse and this is, was originally $12. It's a size medium, floral front. Okay, next. Okay, this actually still has the stain stuff, the stain remover. <laughs> I had to think of the name of it because I was stain treating it. So I need to wash it again. But it says a woman's place is in the house and Senate. So yeah. If you want it, let me know. I'm stain treating it right now. She's in she's in fair condition. I'm not saying she's in top dollar condition. Okay, this item, I don't think this is real, but I was like, I'm buying it anyways. It, Chanel sweatshirt, anybody? Yeah, I don't know that it's real, but I kind of like the color of it. And I was like, eh, why not? So I got it. Am I reselling it? I don't know about that. Okay, let me show you my vintage stuff. This I just thought was a fun t-shirt. It is a single stitch, which is one way of like identifying vintage t-shirts. It will only have a single stitch of thread here as opposed to like two. And this says Liz rocks your socks off event, <laughs> which I took a picture of it and showed my friend Liz. So I think I'm hilarious. This is a Levi's, I think it's a men's, but I can tell by the buttons, which I don't know off the top of my head here. But this is a vintage Le Levi's button-up shirt. It, it's kind of interesting. It says Levi, well, famous Levi's quality shirts for jeans, um, which I've never seen a tag like that. And then it's cool because on the breast pocket here, it says it's got like the embroidered Levi's. So yeah, I thought that was cool. I don't know if the comps are worth anything, but I bought it anyways. So YOLO. Okay, <laughs> I got some really cool pieces. This one is amazing, you guys. I don't know if you're ready for this. Look at this coat. This is a, don't come for me, I didn't kill it. This is a rabbit fur coat. Yes, you heard it right. In near mint condition, there's one flaw right here. Just like a little bit of blue discoloration. And to be honest with you, it might come out. I didn't try and like treat it or do anything to it. I didn't want to mess with it. The inside liner appears to be in really great condition. It says Fur Origin France. I don't know what that means or has anything to do with anything, but oh my gosh. I mean, I, I kind of want to keep it. She might not go anywhere. She might be mine. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else I got for vintage. Okay. This is was just a cool dress. I really liked this. Um, 
what is this, pleating, accordion, whatever. I don't know. I just thought it was like a fancy lady gown. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a night dress or something. But it is vintage. And I think it said it's a size, I don't know. It says lot 1112, dry clean only. So yeah, there she is. Kind of like a coral color. Okay, next is this amazing cardigan. Look at this. So it's got these like faux pearls here. I think they're faux pearls. Um, again, we're back with the rabbit hair. <laughs> so it's this Angora rabbit hair coating to it. And then I don't know what these are supposed to be. They look like diamond rings to me, but I'm not sure what it is. But basically it's embellished with all these rhinestones. There's like a little piece of tape here. There we go. All these little rhinestones. And I'm fairly certain that all of the rhinestones are here from my quick glance over it. Um, there's just like a little something here. Um, yeah, it's just really pretty. So anyways, there's that. It's whatever, however you say that, classiques, entier. I don't know. Um, this was just a really cool, I haven't watched it yet. I was going to, um, what's it called? Pullover? It's Gitano, which I think I've picked up before. It's a size small, purple knit sweater. I don't know. I just liked it. Next is this like Mexican house dress. Is that what they're called? I'm not sure. I don't know if that's politically incorrect. Somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. She's in mirror mint condition, except it's torn here, which I feel like this could be an easier fix, possibly. Um, but yeah, I just loved it. I thought it was so pretty. Um, I love the embroidery. I've always loved these dresses. I think they're so pretty. So yeah, there's that. Then I have, I guess, I think I do have like another modern piece in here, but that's okay. This dress, <laughs> I don't know what it is, like prairie-ish style. Uh, I don't know what you would call this. It was one of the last things I saw before I was about to go to the checkout. The lining is torn here. Um, maybe it's not, just a little bit. And it's a size. I'm not even sure if there is a size in here, to be honest with you guys. Oh, it does have a zipper. Sorry, now I'm curious. I just wanted to look at the zipper to make sure it was still vintage. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know if there's a size in here, but it definitely looks like a larger size, which that was kind of exciting too, because I feel like all, all the pieces I find that are vintage are always so small. Okay, this is a modern piece. Sorry, just randomly throwing this one in. This is a collaboration between Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's kids line, and the brand K-Way, which I wasn't familiar with until this year. Um, it's just like a windbreaker. It's a size eight with this, whatever this is on the side. I don't know, that goes in the pocket. I just thought it was cute. So there's that. Okay, back to the vintage. <clears throat> this is just like a 90s windbreaker. The brand is Jacques, Jacques Moray. Um, I didn't look at comps on any of this stuff, guys. Some of this I just have to buy because I think it looks cool. This reminded me of just so much of the things that I wore in the 90s. <laughs> so yeah, I had to buy that. And then this one... I don't know much about, but it's just a really cool windbreaker. It's got like the three shoulder stripes here. Um, it says it's a size small at the top. I don't know if that's small women's or men's. And then it does have uh, the, what's it called? The hood in the neck. But yeah, I think that's it. Cause the rest of the stuff is like all the other crap from my last haul. That's my haul. Let me know what you guys thought. Again, this was just my one hour super mall what is it? Super supermarket sweep at the Goodwill outlet. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.